But um, what does that mean in terms of the real reality when we implement this? Let's come to our our distribution uh, curve here. When we set R1 to be D bar, which is 20 times an example L equals to 3, we get something like 60 here, 40, 60. Right? So if I if our R1, uh, our first cut at estimating the reorder point, is set to D bar times L, it might mean that um, we start reordering very, very early because seldom do we get our demand stretching to uh, beyond 60 in our example here, right? Because the probability is very little. Uh, so if our R1, our reorder point, were to be set to such high level, it means that we will be very uh, trigger ready. We will be reordering almost all the time. And that might be uh, conjuring up a scenario when we have a lot of uh, orders on our way, even though we still have a lot in our warehouse. So it doesn't quite make sense, especially uh, if you have long lead time, if L is very large, it's still constant, but L is uh, maybe 10 days or 20 days. Then does that mean that our R1, because daily demand is independent from L, lead time is incurred by the supplier, demand is incurred by the customer, there are two different groups of people, right? So if you multiply this together and L is a constant that is, example, turns out to be large, then it might bring R1 to 100 tires, uh, 200 tires, and that just means that every day we start to uh, have to reorder and that then might just be very very nightmarish and doesn't seem to help us in any way okay so to to um, kind of manage this this problem by uh, not mechanically following or extending from the constant demand EOQ model we need to introduce a concept called the service level okay so what is service level service level is basically a probability. So let's write that down because uh, it is part of the definition now. So a service level, or we call it uh, SL, is basically defined qualitatively as the probability of having inventory to sell, to, or more efficiently to meet demand. Okay, so how much likelihood, how much probability do we have in terms of having some inventory to meet the demand? If customer comes to our shop and says, we, I want 25 tires, but we only have five, that's not meeting demand. If customer comes in, I want one tire, but we have zero, that's stock out, that's not having demand. Right. So um, another term to introduce here at this point, uh, and a good juncture is the concept of stock out. Stock out is the event that we don't have inventory to sell. Yeah? So therefore probability of stock out is basically equal to 1 minus service level. Yeah, Because uh, service level is having things to sell, having things to sell and not having things to sell uh, to meet the demand basically they are complementary right so therefore the probabilities are also complementary so notice that service level is a number between zero to one so that's basically saying zero percent to hundred percent now what's the chance that we have things to sell no what does that mean having things to sell means that we have uh, leftover inventory to sell to customer and that doesn't have to be all the time the that that is the most critical junction is after we have made an order, all right, it's like seeing the fire, you already call the fire uh, man to come and help. The next 10 minutes, you don't see the fireman yet because they need some time to arrive. Do you call again? You don't, right? Because uh, you're very worried, but uh, they're on their way. So same thing is that after we have made a reorder we call the supplier for more uh, goods to be delivered already and their lead time is three days the first day after our call we are worried because our stock is dwindling and we have 
a good customer who bought a lot and that makes some makes us more worried because we are going to run out of um, stock very soon we are worried but do we give uh, another order again at this point no because the first order that we ordered yesterday was on the way right so we know that and so the most critical um, time period within the triangle within the inventory cycle is that part of the triangle that we have just ordered starting from when we have just ordered right so it is basically saying that when we order um, at this particular juncture all right so we make a reorder because inventory has crossed certain level all right from here to going forward for another l days that is our lead time right that lead time is our most worrisome period because we have already made the order goods are on their way but we are watching our inventory drop and we are worried yeah and we know that the goods are coming in but we are worried so if we had ordered too lately that means we, our inventory was low to begin with um, when we start the lead time then we should be more worried right but we know that we could reorder even earlier but if we do that then we might end up having lead time later the delivery arrives and we are left with like maybe double the inventory or one and a half times the inventory so that's a lot left which means <clears throat> our annual holding cost will tend to be higher so and, and why should we need to do that right when we can plan our reorder point so it means that there is some sense of a need to describe how worried are we okay how how much how much of a chance do we want to risk in having nothing to sell because what we are worried about is stock out uh, demand arrives customer have their money in their hand and they want tires from us and we say sorry we don't have tires to sell to you that is a double whammy stock out is really really bad so so let's put that down uh, really really bad why really really bad because we um, cannot earn the ready money all right and we the reason why customers come and buy from us with ready money is because they need it now urgently right we if we don't have inventory to meet demand where does the customer go it's not that their demand will be quashed they go elsewhere where do they go to we push them to our competitors okay so stock out is really really bad in that sense and that's why we are worried for good reason therefore one uh, kind of uh, description about how worried we are is to say that do you want your probability of stock out to be high or low now nobody is going to say I want my stock out probability to be high very very high right but the idea is that can we allow for some possibility or rather probability for our for some maybe not all for some of our inventory cycles to run out of stock so in other words every triangle is an inventory cycle yeah we, we establish that so if we insist that every cycle we have stock to sell to our customers then be ready to stock up a lot a lot and pay high price for your uh, holding cost but if you want to optimize it a little bit save cost a little bit on the holding cost not stock up so much then the question is how low should we go right and the idea depends on how ready we are to run into stock out situation if we are very willing to do that then in other words we say by we we say that by having a high probability of stock out but high probability of stock out means low probability of service level so instead of describing probability of stock out we're going to talk about service level so it's the same thing but the lingo that we use is what is your service level okay if my service level is 10% what that means is 
um, nine times out of ten, nine inventory cycles, nine triangles out of ten triangles, we will see stock out. How does it look like when we have a stock out? Um, okay, so a stock out will be the case. So so this these are all not having stock outs up, upstairs, but let's let's see what is a stock out. A stock out is as the cycle goes with time. All right, so this I'm just going to draw smooth triangles because we know that in real life it will be zigzags, right? So this is not a stock out. Um, this is not a stock out. All right, then we have delivery, and then we have good sales, and then we have stock out. So when we have stock out, there'll be a flat liner uh, with, with several days of zero, right? And before the next uh, inventory delivery arrives. So this is a clear visible sign of stock out event where we have a zero uh, heartbeat here. We don't have any stock. So this is our inventory level. All right, so that is for us to recognize stock out visually. So um, in that sense, we need to decide what is our service level. And our service level will be the probability of having stock out. What is, what is a, a sort of a stock out? If we reorder, all right, so, so we need to describe the sense of the probability of the demand um, higher running higher than what we have left. All right, starting from, not the start of the inventory cycle, but the start of our phone call to our supplier. So when we made a phone call, we start the critical period to, to, um, to sort of manage. That is, we would like to say that the chance of the demand during this critical period Right, uh, the chance that the demand exceed what we have. How much inventory do we have? How much inventory we have when we make a phone call? That is basically our reorder point R, isn't it? Because when we make a phone call, uh, that's because of the event that the demand has triggered, has gone past the, the reorder point. Now, we can talk about the various configurations. Reorder point is example 40 tires. Um, there's a big demand, so we jump from 42 to 31, you know, something like that, or 42 to 39. All these, we just consider it as a single point, we are the point 40, all right? So if we set at 40, what's the chance that the demand for the purple curve, the axis is, is demand, daily demand. So for my purple curve here, uh, what's the chance that the daily demand exceeds what we have? Exceeds what we have. And therefore, given that understanding and definition, the probability, which is the area under the curve, of the daily demand exceeding what we have will be the area shaded in red. However, we are not concerned with daily demand because what... <coughs> Remember, we're talking about L days of constant lead time. So it should be established that it is the demand over L days, or what we call demand during lead time, that we are worried about. All right. So DL, demand during lead time, L is a constant three days, then DL will be the demand distribution, right? So let's just put a bracket there because even though this is clear, maybe for a start, let's remind ourselves that this is demand distribution during lead time because let's not forget that, that D, the daily demand, is a normal bell curve. So demand during three days instead of one day is not going to be a constant, right? It is basically going to be our 
no, uh, using statistics, we will have to derive what is the distribution of demand during three days, lead time days, um, when we are given a single day demand.